My name is Faye Laughlin and I'm a volunteer interviewer for the Sales in the Wind Oral History Project. Um, it's Saturday afternoon on Saturday the 9th of May 2009 and I have a gentleman with me. Um, would, you like me would you like to tell us your name and how long you've lived in Rayleigh? Well, I'm Peter Chillingworth and I've lived in Rayleigh all my life. In Waltham Road, that's now 52 years. My parents um, lived in Rayleigh as well. Um, my personal memory of the, the windmill is um, when we returned as a family from, from holiday, often driving holidays, and the, the windmill was always a symbol of home, coming <laughs> home, and knowing that we were back home after an enjoyable holiday. And um, I've actually brought along a postcard of the windmill that I um, actually bought in a second-hand shop in Greys about 15 years ago. And um, could you describe the picture on the postcard? Well, the picture's um, clearly of, of Rayleigh Windmill with Holy Trinity Church in the background. And it seems that the, um, the photo on the postcard was taken from the highest mound of the um, of Rayleigh Mount. It's looking due east, and it seems to be a, a winter winter scene. There's very few trees at all. It just shows how there were very few trees on the mount at the time. The actual postmark on the postcard we think is um, 1905 when Edward was king it shows um, a half penny stamp with Ed Edward's picture on it the postcard was sent um, from a resident in Rayleigh um, looks to be like Eva Walden who lived in Victoria Road in Rayleigh and um, she's sending it to a Miss Hallows in, at 19 Lewisham High Road in New Cross, London. Um, I'll just read the card yes, for please, you. Yes, yeah. please, um, It says, um, thanks for your PC. My dear Miss Hallows, I hope this is the postcard Lily wanted me to send you, also the one you wanted. So sorry I did not send you before, only we had not one of Rayleigh in the house. I will send you some more if you like, although they are not much up to much. What did you think of Lily and I on Sunday? Do you think we were really very bad? Just hurry Lily up to write to me, unless she wants a sack. Mind you, we have yourselves at, and I can't actually read the, the last word on the card. It's quite tiny writing, it's isn't it? It's <laughs> very tiny writing, you can hardly hardly read it. And it's got with love from Eva. So it seems that it's Eva writing the card to Miss Hallows and that there was another friend with them at a recent Sunday gathering. Um, just to go back to the view of the, the card, um, the card shows a number of outbuildings by the side of the windmill, both sides of the windmill. And there are just two ladies in their Victorian dress with Victorian hats on um, that are in the centre of the photo, which just gives the, an idea as to the scale of the photo on the postcard. Wow, it's absolutely incredible. Um, what was it that made you purchase that postcard? What interested you about it? Um, I, I do collect some old postcards, and I think it was just a, a very interesting interesting view that there seems to have been few postcards um, done of Rayleigh certainly in my lifetime I remember some of the Dutch cottage but I don't remember any of the windmill at all not in my time and I think from what she said on the card it seems that there weren't many around um, but they obviously um, communicated a lot by postcard at that time and um, actually I've not seen the view of the windmill from that position on the, the mount before. That's quite an unusual picture of it. Right. Um, and the mount is so clear. Um, there aren't actually any trees on it. It is just um, 
looks like two mounds covered in grass. There's no trees yes. surrounding it as, as we see it today. Um, but yeah, it's incredible. Thank you very much for being interviewed for our project. Okay, thank you.